So let's talk about connecting to an SQL server using SQL CMD. SQL CMD is a command line tool. We will use it for server management sometimes because you can actually connect to it and run SQL code against a server. Um, we will also frequently use it for testing connection to an SQL server. Even if we're not going to run anything, we just want to make sure it works. So let me show you how to do this. Um, I'm going to start by doing my search here and opening up command prompt. Now, if you have installed SQL Server or the SQL management tools, you should just be able to type SQL CMD. And it's not going to do anything at this point, um, but it should go find the command. I'm going to control C to cancel that connection because it's trying to create a connection to nowhere at the moment. If you do SQL CMD space forward slash question mark, it'll actually give you all the options. Now, for our purposes, we are connecting to an instance on a server, the local server in this case, just to make sure it works. And so here's what our command is going to be, SQL CMD. Now, there are two options we're going to need, dash E and dash S. Both of these have to be capitalized. <clears throat> this command is case sensitive, at least with those two options. So. E has to be capitalized, S has to be capitalized. E says this is a trusted connection, which means Windows authentication, use my user account. And S identifies the server. Now, since we're trying to do this on our local server, we're going to use a server local host. And then if it was a, if I had a default instance, that would be all that I would need. But in this case, I don't. So when I hit enter, it tries to connect to the server. It's looking for that default instance. It's not going to be able to find it, and it's going to come back with an error message. Here we go. Saying the Microsoft Duty PC driver, blah, blah, blah. We couldn't open a connection. That's the gist of it. So I'm going to hit my up arrow again. And then to actually connect to my instance, I'm going to do backslash class. And that class just happens to be my instance name. Now it connects and it puts me here with this prompt that says one and then you know additional prompts. Um, and basically that just keeps track of, um, of the commands that I'm typing in. But at this point I could go ahead and I could run different SQL code against the server if I wanted to or I can just exit out <clears throat> because I know that my SQL server is working and I have successfully connected to it. 